This I wanna nail sports to the one Top vlog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up sports to the bone family? What's up? What's up? A blessed night to you all. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing okay. All right, my viewers and subscribers. So coming up in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the second IPL game that was played earlier today. We had a couple of West Indians out there doing their thing. Earlier today, we spoke about Shemran Hetzmaya helping the Rajasthan Royals to a victory over the Punjab. Well, in the next game, we had Jason Holder going up against Sunil Narayan and Andre Russell. And that one was a sight to behold. Yes, man, my viewers and subscribers, it was indeed a good day for the West Indies players because we had Jason Holder taking three wickets, Andre Russell blasting some six and some four, and Sunil Narayan being economical as always. So we're going to be zooming in on that game all right so just remember now while you are listening just make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed make sure you say you're subscribed my peeps you can't continue to miss out on this turn on the post notification bell leave a like and drop a comment all right so it was the uh kkr versus lsg and kkr were actually embarrassed my viewers and subscribers as they lost the game by 75 runs yes you heard me 75 runs big big margin so it was um lsg that batted first and you know quinton the cock up the top there he had 50 off 29 talking about four fours and three sixes well the the the, the, the miss man kl raul the captain who is usually very very consistent he didn't actually get a chance to do anything he was run out without facing a delivery who that came in and partnered up with Quintin the Cock and he made some runs. He got 41 of 27 with four fours and two sixes. Pandia came in, but Andre Russell took care of him as he was looking to tee off. He got 25 from 27. And uh, we have Stoinis came in and was able to slap three sixes and one four as he got uh, 28 of 14. Jason Hola also did some work with the bat, getting. 13 of four delivery deliveries with two sixes in the mix there so hold that just coming in and striking it at a nice little 325 yeah 13 of of well 13 of two deliveries what did i say four deliveries no man 13 of two deliveries man with two sixes in the mix there so jason hola striking it at 325 so well done to the lsg and they were able to put together all of 176 for seven yeah man 176 for seven they were able to put together uh, as it relates to the bowling andre russell he had three overs for 22 and picked up two wickets so very economical bowling by andre russell very good three overs 22 runs two wickets you know Saudi had one wicket also mavi had one and sunel narine economical as uh, as always four overs 20 runs one wicket so KKRs, they went out in search of that 176 for victory. No, things didn't get off too, too well for them in my viewers because um, they found themselves uh, one wicket done without scoring a run. Then it was 11 for two. Didn't get any better, better after that. 23 for three, 25 for four, 69 for five, 85 for six. You understand? 85 for seven, 99 for eight. 99 for 9 101 all out it was it was just horrible out there you understand finchy had 14 um you know andre russell he top scored with 45 of 19 deliveries getting five sixes and three fours in the mix there so five sixes and three fours for andre russell as he got uh 45 from 19 with a strike rate of 236.8 four you know sunel narine he chipped in well also he got 22 from 12 with three fours and a six uh he was basically he was basically cash pot score as they would say after that you know Roy Roy had a two ball duck uh mavi he was left not out and one tim Saudi he he actually got dismissed first ball by jason hola um without scoring you understand and they were all bundled out for 101 um of 14.3 overs so that gave lsg a victory by 75 runs yeah man 75 runs victory there 
really really superb by um lsg you understand so i tell you <laughs> yeah you, you see you see when some of the big guns not able to fire you know this is what happened and jerry russell is a man that usually comes and he will blast it blast it but he won't stay too long you know so he definitely wanted some help you know the guys at the top were not really able to do much as i said in the in the thing there you know um what first wicket without scoring 11 for two you understand 23 for three 25 for four 69 for five all that come right down the line it was just not healthy for them at all now jason hola he did extremely well with the ball picking up three for 31 of 2.3 overs yes you heard me right three for 31 of 2.3 overs you understand um can he had uh three for 19 of his three overs while uh chamira was able to pick up one for 14 so that is basically how it went my viewers and subscribers as lsg you know was able to get the better of um kkr so kkr will be looking to recover in the next um in their next game but that was how it went but when all is said and done my viewers and subscribers i am just happy that we had a couple of west indian players doing their thing out there as i said and jerry also getting that nice 45 jason hola coming in you know power in his side facing a couple of deliveries getting um getting getting uh what i think must be about 13 or something like that so um well done well done uh where jason hola is concerned and then the wickets he came in and got um some wickets also you know so that that was good so Jason Hola, 13, 13, 13 runs off, four deliveries. Did I say half two deliveries earlier? <laughs> um, he got those 13 runs off, four deliveries, right? With two um, sixes in the mix there. Then he returned with the ball to basically help his team out. So very, very well done, my viewers and subscribers by, by um, Jason Hola and his team. And we are definitely looking forward to see the other West Indies players doing their thing. You know, we have a couple of series coming up. And we don't know who West the selector is going to recall. As I reported earlier this morning, we have three ODI games that we are supposed to play against Netherlands. And then we're going to have three against uh, uh, Pakistan. Yeah, man. We have Netherlands, Pakistan, and further down in the year, I think we have India. So quite a few games to look at. But yeah, that, that just about do it, my viewers and subscribers, for the IPL roundup for today. So uh, LSG getting a victory and also um also uh sherman hits maya and the Rajasthan royals getting another victory getting another victory so uh that is it where the ipl is concerned for today now before we check out my viewers and subscribers gonna talk a little bit of premier league because you know why i tell you my viewers and subscribers it was a rough day out there today you know, man manchester united going down four nil four nil you understand and I, I i am a bit surprised that it was so much or so many but i i am not surprised that we lost the game at all brighton you know brighton usually play very good football um they, it's just that they usually have an issue with getting the ball in the goal but where possession is concerned and, and staying compact and moving the ball they usually play some nice football but you know um no excuse there you know for the beating that oh, that manchester united took the took today it was just horrible out there midfield defense everything was just horrible you understand it was it, it was the worst first half i have ever seen i can probably it can probably be the, the worst first half of football i have ever seen you understand brighton didn't really manage to to, to, to only one goal they managed in the first half in the 15th minute they scored you understand but in minute 49 57 and 60 they scored and basically run it off for um four nil so manchester united have a whole lot of work to do in the the, the coming um coming season you understand the other game that a lot of, drew a lot of attention would have been that game between liverpool and tottenham as tottenham took the lead through human song and you know this seems as if they were right enough all chances of liverpool staging uh, uh you know basically trying to to to, to get one up on manchester city but luis diaz with a goal in the 74th minute was able to level it off but you know it's it's definitely it's definitely um as as they would say favoring manchester city right now you know liverpool is still atop the table 
but they would have played one game more playing 35 games now on 83 points man city played 34 games with 83 points so you know one would assume that tomorrow's game man city will definitely be looking to try and take top honors but yeah uh that is basically how it went today my viewers and subscribers just to round off the rest aston villa uh got the victory over burnley 3-1 chelsea and Wol wolverhampton wanderers played to a two all draw crystal palace with a one nil win over watford and that is basically how it went in the in the in the in the premier league today so yeah gonna leave this one right here for now my viewers and subscribers i don't know it got tomorrow morning we touch base again have a couple of stories to share with you guys so just go and big up on yourself and bless up zane i'm out